hello and welcome back to Outer Worlds. And where are we gonna head next? The cantina? Maybe. If we're gonna find some uh, disreputable companions, maybe that's where they are. That's where I would be in this uh, shithole town. And the one thing uh, just that I have to say is that we might have to do some uh, uh, go back to the ship uh, missions because we are playing on Supernova. Also, I'm I'm getting thirsty. You're falling sick. I don't want Apparently, you the me. the bar runs out that I just die. Hurry! I wouldn't do that to you. Well, actually, that would be an extra reason to go to the bar. But uh, just for the sake of it, let's just go here. Apparently, this is a vendor. Yeah. Spacer's choice. Oh, I thought we'd be stealing, right? It's not really on the house. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's <laughs> choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. Okay. I need to fix a ship. Uh, you know where I can find parts? You ought to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Thompson. He's up in his tower above the cannery. Okay. I got some questions. Go right ahead. Anyone I should watch out for? Other than yourself? Definitely the vicar. Don't get me wrong. He seems a decent man. Cut from church cloth. Knows his scriptures. But there's something about him that bothers me. Like he's not one of us. Sometimes I suspect he doesn't even want to be here. No way. Who would be so crazy? Um. Thanks. Anyone else? I'd keep a few paces between myself and Miss Holcomb, the town mechanic, since her dear father left the workforce. No ill intent in her, mind. Just a queer sort, restless, scatterbrained, inclined to do first and think after, if you take my meaning. Interesting. Amelia. Definitely Amelia Kemp. I advise against stepping foot in her drinking establishment altogether. Word is... They're gonna replace her with an auto mechanical barkeep. She's, what's the word? Obsolete. You don't want to associate yourself with that kind of person. Right. So, why do you like this place? What, you mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. This is a test. Am I being tested right now? It's a uh, fine and dandy. Couldn't be happier. Wouldn't want to spend my life working anywhere else. Prettiest little town on Terra 2. Right. I'm glad you're so optimistic. I have every reason to be. I caught a real break working in a place like this. I don't get paid for banter. Was there something you needed? Right, it seems like this guy is, uh, well, maybe knows the reality of this place, but like he has a uh, sweet gig, so. Music to my ears. Uh, your merchant skill is uh, equal to the value of your best dialogue skill. Ooh, really? And it's used to negotiate prices when buying and selling from vendors. That is interesting. So <clears throat> I'm pretty good at uh, uh, dealing with merchants apparently now. 5% discount, I got 77, uh, pff, whatever that is. And we're probably not gonna buy anything right now. Okay. Hopefully I'm not gonna shoot anybody. Saltuna! Hey! There's some saltuna over there, Julius! Have you thought about getting some? Yeah, you better hide. Loser. I'm gonna get some salt tuna anyway. So, we gotta go to the cantina. Okay. Slow time. Taste of freedom. Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. If only McDevitt's folk hadn't abandoned us, Cannery could use those extra hands. Okay. What we can do about that? Yeah, there is. We can have another zero G. Um, so apparently I can just open up doors. Amelia Kim, apparently she's gonna be replaced. I don't know you. <laughs> okay. 
Alex Hawthorne, Captain of the Unreliable. <laughs> oh man, I love that introduction. Uh huh. The Unreliable, you say? Never heard of any company supply ship with that particular name. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk oh here. <clears throat> Perception, something going on here that I should know about. So I don't have perception. We can use that if I if I up my perception a little bit. So this is where this is actually something that I, I didn't even know about and didn't consider that if I spread out my points a little bit more in the early. So if I for example instead of uh uh maxing two stats for a little bit extra uh, skills, well, only truly a little bit extra, I, I could have put points into all the stats and I could have used it as a, as, a, as a check here, perception, something going on here that I should know about, I'm not perceptive, I don't know, this would be cool, and what a fine establishment it is. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. I show what you got. Coming right up. Oh yeah, we need some water. No, 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 I don't need caffeinated. What I need is not die from thirst. No, 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 I, I don't. Pure water. Sugary drink? Wait. No, no, I just want water. Dehydrated water? Body attributes plus one. Trip teas. Okay. So they all seem to cost the same. What if I try to buy one pure water? Um. So. She's willing to sell me two for 77 apparently. You know what? I'll do it. Wow, she's really maximizing the profit right there. Okay. I think we needed that. Uh, use. Wow. I think it went up a little bit, but not by a lot. We need to drink more. If I'm not mistaken. So let's snoop around the bar. What is this? Oh, we don't have enough. I do I need to get better at lock picking or someone needs to come with be who's good at it. Oh, this could be a good way to... Get some drinks. Ooh, taking that. What I'm taking is probably total garbage, and it doesn't worth a damn thing. But hey, spacer's jaw. But hey, we're taking it. Oh, she has her own pirate—um, not pirate, but uh, private bathroom. 
a pirate bathroom would be uh, much cooler, but uh, unfortunately, uh, we're only dealing with a private bathroom here. Ooh. This, this can be private, right? Ooh. I'm not sure if we would get busted for stealing that. I don't think so. It's so high up. Oh. Taking that. No. Ugh. Okay. So we went to the bar and we didn't get too much out of it. Right, let's, let's see the map. Well, I usually rebind the map to tab, but apparently that you can't even rebind things now. This is where we had have to go. Hmm. I know, I know. We we can't go five steps without me checking something out on the side. That's just how it's gonna be. Ooh, that are alive. Uh, Guillaume on dream. <clears throat> From the Spacer's Choice Department of Retirement, uh, writ of execution, effective immediately for Guillaume on dream. A former Spacer's Choice associate mechanic, terminated from his position and escorted from Edgewater on grounds of unauthorized use of Adrena time, wanted for destruction of company uh, property, murder of company workers in good standing, theft, and unauthorized use of medical supplies. Wow. Generous Bounty, payment on delivery, must be able to sign your own name. See Constable Reyes for details. Okay. So we got a bunch of bounties. I'm not gonna read all of them, but we might wanna check out Constable Reyes about this. I've been feeling pretty low these what days. Is this? Oh let the boss catch you. Constable. You know, I can believe it's some bounties. Uh can I get some bullets? I guess we shouldn't mess with that. Oh, hey there, Reyes. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in frontier justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. What? <laughs> if you need help with your marauder problem, I'm for hire. As a Spacer's Choice Constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. Okay. I got some questions for you, maybe? As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. Oh, yeah. Does the name Fe uh, Phineas Vallas mean anything to you? His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? No. No, no, no. Don't say that. No, never mind. <laughs> I feel like I don't want to say that. Even if... I don't know. It doesn't seem like a sensible thing to say. Oh, this is Phineas. Right. Wish we had some better rations. I can't understand. He being a outlaw. This place is crazy. But him uh, freeing me doesn't really add up. Like, why? How could he expect my loyalty? Even even busting me out, okay, fine. I mean, probably he could expect me to be somewhat grateful. Oh, this is like the regular workbench. Uh, back on the spaceship. Robot ticket priority. Maybe I don't want to read everything here. Okay. Well, we checked out the garage and apparently we can take that. Now lockpick that. Wow. 
Stealing is quite easy. I can't quick save. It's driving me insane. I pressed uh, F5 so many times by now. We probably have to go back to the ship at one point. Ooh. Wow, this mechanic is pretty chill. Yeah, VZT. Lager. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, I'll, I'll be taking that. Uh, wow, I'm, I'm really making my, myself feel home here. Is, is somebody even here? You're like, no. Control Alt F4 Enter to compose a new entry. Hmm. First entry. In the Mati left Edgewater today. She's being reassigned to Terra 1. I kissed her goodbye at uh, the platform and asked if I, if I would ever see her again. We both knew the answer was no. Look up and think of me as I look up and think of you. Note from Induma Indumati. <clears throat> Robert, they wouldn't let me keep her, but I know you will raise her with love, perhaps more than I would make time for. You are patient and present in a way that I am not. The company says she has no name until you give her one. Her name is Parvati. They tell me her birthday will be set on the date she's legally delivered to you. She was bas uh, she was actually born on July 7. Make her feel special when I can't. She liked it when I sang to her. It was the only time she stopped crying. Turn to root. Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. Um, okay. I can get uh, my mechanical skill up with that. No one's here? Alright, I'm stealing your bypass shunt. Bathroom. Wow. There's truly no one here. Okay, I'm taking the lighter. Oh, maybe don't jump down. Because my health is very slowly going up. It's not something that happens quickly. So this is the mechanic. Spacer Choice Cantina. I can check out this one as well. Wait. Friend of mine died a couple weeks back. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. No. Ever been healthy? It's one of the guys that we need to rip off. Okay, we can't take his sh uh, stuff. <clears throat> oh, sweet mercy of Allah! A marauder's in my domicile. <laughs> I'm not a marauder. Handguns one. Wave your gun. Hand over all your bits. I don't know. No. There's a reason you're running around outfitted like one of those monsters. Did Mr. Thompson send you to put the fear in me? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Right. Um... You want to tell me what you... What's got you so nervous? So, my perception is high enough, as average. As average perception is high enough. To be used in conversation. Obviously, I need to. Be, I don't need to be super perceptive to, to know this. But I assume if I drop my perception below average, then it would not be an option. You some sort of wandering alienist, walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state. Uh, I'm here to collect some fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. He told me everything. How long did you think you could keep a secret like that? Oh my god, I love that. Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon, I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. 
Hmm. Why are you so bothered by like, why does it matter? If you die, you die. I'm sorry to hear that. You are? Oh, wow. First time anyone's ever told me that. <laughs> I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Really? How's that? <clears throat> so I could have pressured him, and that could have just, uh, uh, possibly had, had a, a worse result. Like, at least he wouldn't give me money. He reacted positively to my, uh, kindness, or at least, uh, um, seeming kindness, maybe. <clears throat> How could I help? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. How do you know about this? I'll do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. I think I should know about this community center. Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Oh. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. Got it. You're taking an awful risk trusting me, you know. Well, I, maybe I'm the friendly extorter, but that's basically I am. I, I didn't try to, uh, I don't know. I can't, can't really put a good good uh, positive spin on what I did. I basically took money from a dying man uh, for her uh, rented grave, for his uh, rented grave, like, and he reacted positively to that. <clears throat> anyway, uh, why trust me? I know that, but I got nobody else to turn to. That's a good point. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but... I never did find my courage. Right. Alright. I'll check it out. Good point. Worst case scenario, I guess I, I die. He can't get it, and I might get it. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Is that so? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. What? I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. How the fuck did you Abernathy overhear it? Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Right. How did you hear it? We were in... Wait, uh, did I forget to close the door? Fuck. <laughs> God damn it, I forgot to close the door. You bastard! Ah, uh, he's got symptoms of something. You're saying it's psychosomatic. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. So. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. The fuck does that mean? What? I don't get it. Are you indicating that he's going to die soon or what? Whatever. <clears throat> what do you need it for? for I money? probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Well, tell me anyway. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. I see. So in this scenario, I I have to choose between two good, seeming good. Maybe she does have a point that uh, um, well, she definitely has a point that uh, people need the medicine too. But I, I would be more willing to help her if she wasn't like, give me the medicine and fuck the old man. Abernathy is paying me for my trouble. Can you match his offer? I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. Hmm. 
I'll think about it. That's all I can ask of you. Despite your scheming, you, know, you bring up a good point. <clears throat> okay, what we have here? So we can go here. So this is where we can leave the town. Saltuna? Can I just not go into the Saltuna? I'm sorry, I'll just be a minute. Oh. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the thread, friend. Oh, we can't go into the Saltuna. This is just a factory people work at. It's not really somewhere. Uh, you can just head in and enjoy some uh, tasty salty tuna. Can I go in here because you kind of act like I can't? Factory. Hmm. There's nothing here. Why do I have a feeling that there's gonna be like a LUV ambush in the future here? Ooh, that's very juicy, but also. Easy to get busted doing, right? Can anyone see me doing it? I don't see anybody. Is the revolver better than what I got right now? 94 DPS in condition of uh, 100%. So it only has nine nine bullets. It deals more damage, and it knocks back. It deals blade damage. Okay. Maybe we can just use it. It's a more effective use of bullets. I'm not sure how this. Uh Shorty works. Based ammo wise. Revolver if if bullets are a concern or we want to be more conservative with bullets, uh revolver is a okay choice. Vending machine discovered. So big cartridge is is probably money. Kick me. I got still kick me son. This is not what I wanna get but what I wanna get busted for. Uh, vending machines offer a variety of items to purchase, mostly from one company. A hex skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. Restricted items on a vendor can only be purchased when you have high enough uh, reputation with the associated faction, or a hex skill of 40 or higher. Very cool. Ooh, that's a crazy amount of stuff. The vending machine does not give me any discount. Okay. Maybe weapon mod. Okay. Well, well, I guess we're going. And it seems like money is a big concern in this game. So, I was... Yeah, I did check out everything in this town. Maybe not that. Maybe not that. I think we, we skipped that. But other than that, we checked out everything. And now we're checking out this big factory. I'm not sure how the steaming works. I don't want to get busted. The Edgewater Salt Tuna Canning Facility strictly adheres to Spacer's Choice standards of health and safety. Schedule your sick leave with your Spacer's Choice uh, foreman and 
or supervisor be considerate towards other members of the Spacer's Choice family. Allow two to four weeks to process and approve your scheduled sick leave. <laughs> Lost hours must be compensated to the company. See Reed if you're having trouble paying for your sick leave. We try to arrange with wage deductions instead. Remember, work invigorates the spirit, sickness in the body reflects sickness in the mind, and sickness in the character. If you find yourself failing ill, it may be time to schedule a meeting with our local biker. Wow, that's, that's just great. I'm a little surprised that I find this factory so empty. Maybe I saw someone on the second floor. But yeah, the the factory is totally empty. One left hand found, severed at the wrist, some bone damage. But this is the guy that's in the graveyard. People, this is our second unscheduled amputation in as many months. Please exercise caution and safety around machinery. Maintenance fees will be deducted from your pay. Oh, that's amazing. But the guy died, so... Rats. So we know how these rat thing is called now. Bard. Oh, actually, we can go down. The bar. Okay, toilet. Can we enter something here? Only you can protect what quarter profits. Uh, meeting room. Oh my god, yes. I wonder if you ever get busted with stealing. What, what's with my. Carry weight. 43 out of 80. Can't love like that. Right, control helmet. Uh, that must be better than what I got right now, right? Can be hardly worse. Yeah, just take everything. I'm, I'm probably stealing trash, but I, I'm kind of... I love it. I kind of love it. Yeah, board. So... We can go upstairs. So we have three ways... Three places to go. Oh, we have a, a lot more places to go. This is like just inside the city. Or town. We can go downstairs. We can go upstairs. And we can also go over there. Uh, these, these are the obvious ones that I... I have yet to explore. Impact hammer. Interesting. Okay. The ladder does work. Why is this place so empty? Oh, power! Oh crap, I got hit twice. And I can die! Fuck. This would've been so bad because I can't save the game. I would need to go back to the ship. Disengage the power regulator. Unable to comply, the power regulator unit may be disengaged while transform is active. May not be disengaged. Hmm. Shutdown protocol. In compliance with the Spaces Choice Engineering and Development Policies, shutdown protocols have been disabled on all transformers. This is to prevent illegal tampering, upgrading, or theft of 
uh, of technology. Please avoid attempting to modify or tamper with Space's choice. Electrical transformer while power is active. Okay. The Emerald Vale region is powered by the Spacer's Choice Geothermal Facility. Spacer's Choice is proud to bring the colonists of Halcyon moderately innovative technology at a reasonable cost. Spacer's Choice, the best you can afford. <laughs> wow. Okay, so... We know we have access to what we need for the ship. But, yeah, we probably have to uh, take the elevator and uh, somehow uh, shut, shut down the, the generator or whatever. I just take the elevator. I know some players would just like straight, straight on head in here. I'm not, not one of those players. I, I snoop around everywhere. The oh, grease nice. monkey, Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Seltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. Is it people? Are we feeding them people? Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Are you Reed? I was told to... I should talk to you. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I must say, wearing a marauder's outfit is in very poor taste. I do wish you'd show your uniform a little more respect. I'm sorry, I, I, I have no choice. Uh, the only other way we could have uh, gained a uniform, I suppose, is that I bought one in the at uh, the trader outpost or whatever in town. Maybe that could have worked. Or we killed the guy we helped in the cave. Or maybe we could have killed the deputy outside, probably not inside. I think you may have the wrong idea about me. Um, I don't work for Spacer's Choice. I don't know if I want to say that to him, but I kind of say that to him with every single choice. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. My ship, uh, my ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Let's hear it. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Sounds very easy. You say mostly abandoned. What do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. 
so you mean marauders the people living in the botanical labs they're deserters former workers i need them back at their posts i need them to come home This is cool. So, we have the answer. Why the factory was so empty. And this is what I really love in these games, is that I can I can afford to think. Because in, in men, well, many in, in movies and TV shows, but in, even in some games, you just have to just uh, give them a lot of slack and just like sit back and relax and just kind of turn off your brain. But if I, if I think, uh, then yeah, we see that, yeah, it, things just make sense. Obviously, this is a very basic thing to make sense, like, where are the workers, but uh, not that they were just lazy to put workers in, obviously. If you want me to solve your deserter problem, I charge my head. Wow. That'd be what I need to do. Let's not get ahead of myself. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Alright. See what I can do. How would I recognize her? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified. Kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Right. These workers must have left uh, the town for a reason. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. All right. All right, Reed. I'll see what I can do. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Yes. I could use the company, really. Great. I got my wrenches, and diagnosticators, and hairpins, and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Let's get going. <clears throat> Hunger! <laughs> oh man, in supernova difficulty, you must eat every few hours to prevent starvation. Consuming a food item will clear your hunger and prevent your starvation for a few hours. Without eating, your hunger will get worse over time in four stages, reducing your strength, charm, perception, at each stage before eventually death. Great. Companions! You gain the companion. They are characters that join you in your adventures and help you in a variety of ways. Plus companion provide the combat support, their skills enhance your skills. They do. They increase your carrying capacity. You can unlock special companion combat abilities with the inspiration skill. Learn more about your companions in the companion's ledger. I'm going. Oh, I can make them go to No problem. I'll head over. Uh says Parvati can join the party, but Parvati already kinda joined the party. <clears throat> This companion ledger shows you everything you need to know about your companion. You can see their skills, stats, status, facts, and gear. To change your companion's gear, first select the item you want to swap out, then choose a compatible item to replace it with. You can also change how they behave in combat by selecting their preferred weapon, follow distance, and aggressiveness. So, a fairly simple way to use them. But how do I know what you like? Um, perks available, nothing. 
So she's aggressive. We might not want her to be aggressive. Only attacks targets that companion has explicitly told to. I think that's too passive. Once told to attack a target, the companion continues to fight until combat is over. The companion always engages in attacks when the player enters combat. Okay, let's do aggressive. Weapon. What? How do we know what she likes? Uh, I think that's just based on her current weaponry. So she has extra persuasion and lockpick. So with her, I am also engineering. And overload ability. I didn't realize that's how companions worked. Persuasion, lockpick and engineering. I like her. She's She looks... Uh, I, I don't know. Well, I guess we don't know her too, too, too well, but she sounds uh, hopeful and fun. <clears throat> uh, medium foul distance. Only attacks with ranged weapons. I think we might go with maybe mixed. Unless it turns out that that's a bad idea. Hmm. Twenty nine, twenty two, Spacer's Choice Pistol. Okay, this doesn't really mean anything. It's just how much damage she deals with the damage, uh, with the weapon she equipped. And this is my inventory. I'm not sure if I can actually take it out, but I don't really want to. What about her armor? Her armor is okay. She can use a helmet, I suppose. And I did uh, change one thing in the settings that uh, when you use a helmet, it doesn't show up. I don't really like that when it blocks your face. Because the face is such a crucial part of uh, when it comes to communication. And if it's done right, uh, a lot is lost just by using a helmet. And I don't mind using helmet out of combat. I mean, in combat. In combat. But you wouldn't want to use it uh, out of combat. Parvati? Come on! Oh, actually, she can level up. She can? Can she? Um, perks available zero. Oh, I don't think so. I have some penalties. Okay. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I, I told sure. her to go somewhere. On my way. On my way. Oh yeah. Okay. I figured it out. Let's go. I could use some help. Maybe I, I could have changed my stats a little bit. I, I could have built it, built my character a little differently. But I don't think it's gonna matter hey, too much. Can we talk? Wow, Sorry. you, you want to talk already? Can we talk? Wow, you, you want to talk here? Sorry, I. You just want to get out of here, and you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just, Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and and what all. But that's not the only side of the tale. Hmm. This is about the deserters, so what's the other side of it? To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. I can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. This town has got issues. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Without being super judgmental because I think she's gonna react uh, somewhat negatively to it she, she's she's still around so if I go against the the town's uh, culture mentality then she might react negatively to that so maybe we're just gonna plant the seeds life's hard here especially for them that don't fit in so well 
We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Oh, yeah, actually, that, that uh, place that we ignored, or like skipped unintentionally, that's probably the temple, so. I suppose it couldn't hurt, we'll stop by. Just to show you that, yeah, I definitely uh, value your input. And we are not going to convince her by with just words alone. That's just stupid. We're gonna if she's gonna learn to maybe not well kind of dislike this place, but like she we might be able to show her something else. Then she can decide for herself. Does she want to be a a, a spacer's choice a factory worker, or she wanna I don't know kick it with me? And uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know what we're gonna do. But we don't plan to stay here for forever, that's for sure. For now, I don't mind it. I suppose it couldn't hurt. We'll stop by. Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. I like her. Like, this conversation was a good way to learn about her quite a bit. So, she cares about people, and also... She's not so eager for change. She knows that things are, are messed up, but she's not so eager to change that uh, she wants uh, people to hurt. She's not going to excuse like people getting hurt for that. So, I love it. Anyway. Uh, this is a very subtle way to learn about uh, characters, and I like it. So, we can talk to Vicar, but before that, I believe there's like fast travel in the game. I'm not super sure. So that's fast travel to the landing site. In in supernova difficulty, you can only fast travel to your ship, as far as I know. And we can fast travel to the ship. The only reason I'm doing this is because we need to bloody save the game. That's just crazy. Not saving the game. It's just driving me mental. You guys have no idea how many times I pressed F5 now by now. If it's not like at least 50, I don't know. Then it's it's nothing. But I would have pressed it like 200 times, if I could have. That said, I do enjoy playing with the hardcore mentality. i just save. And Parvati is here. Can we just rest? Wait, can I just... Wait a second. I didn't see the this. ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Wow. If I've been able to get out here, I so would have stripped this for parts. Oh man. Don't do that. You're welcome to tag along, but not stripping my ship would be nice. I'm actually losing well, I'm actually fairly thirsty now. So but I, it's a little unclear what fills up my thirst bar it seems pretty obvious like what i what i'm kind of looking for is like you know like minus 30 thirst that would be the most obvious way like pure water seems like the most obvious way and it seems like my bar is about at 30 percent and i can drink this pure water Unless this is a, like a total scam. No, it, it went up. It went up by like... 25%-ish? It's, it's a little unclear. Bread noodles. I guess we can eat that. So the hunger goes up a little bit. Fizzy tea. Mine attributes plus one increases. Okay, fine. So I'm I'm still tired. And I'm not sure if he can rest. Can I rest? Because the captain quarters is locked away. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Nice. Uh, oh. 
Well, maybe we don't have to worry too much about uh, resting and drinking. Oh. Parvati. Uh, so, you can have uh, your own quarters here if you like. I don't think we can rest. These surveillance it. devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please okay. ignore them. Very reassuring. Okay, it seems like we might need to finish the mission before we can rest at the ship. No resting before the job is done. Parvati, you're like a ghost. You're just like following me around. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Mixed feelings. Can you just like chill out, you know, just like grab a beer and like, you know, hit the couch? That's upstairs. Unfortunately, you have to climb a ladder for that or you can use the stairs. Whatever works. <laughs> Anyway guys, uh, this is it for now, uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.